All right, this is a quick video to show a um, si true sine wave inverter working with a grid tie inverter. Now, a lot of times you, you might lose power during the day, and because of the island protection, your, uh, grid, your grid tie inverters won't come on. So what I do is I have a smaller inverter that I use uh, to supply the AC so that the grid ties will turn on. Now, this is just an example showing a very small inverter. I have a 3,000 watt, but this is a... This is a cheapo 300 watt pure sine and wave inverter. Actually works pretty good. I think I paid $35 for it on eBay. I've got a 300 watt lamp running over there. And here you can see I'm pulling about 28 amps and, it, and I got about 12.5 volts and about 330 watts. It's a 300 watt halogen bulb, so that comes out about right. Now, over here, I have a grid tie inverter. It's actually a pretty decent one. It's a mass power one. Uh, I got that hooked up to 450 watts of panels and here's the plug so what I'm going to do is plug it in so the grid tie the solar will then put power into the sine wave inverter and I'm thinking it's going to dramatically cut the uh, the wattage or the current from the battery so there we are at 28 amps I'm going to plug in the grid tie Oop, no explosion See the grid ties starting to sign on now. See the green lights going, and now my current's down to 7.6 amps. So I still have the same. Actually, I have a higher wattage. I have 320 watts now, and my bat my voltage is up higher, and my current is way down from the battery. So the the, the pure sine wave inverter was uh, 28 amps, and now 20 of those amps are now being supplied by the solar panel. With the um, with the grid with the pure sine wave inverter providing uh, AC power to the grid tie so that it, it runs and it, it isn't into uh, island protection.